hey guys what's good how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel i want to show you this gadget here this is lg sandbar sqc2 sandbar this is 2.1 channel immersive sandbar on a budget good for money this sandbar is 300 watts audio power output sandbar itself is 100 watts the subwoofer is 200 watts this sandbar you can hook it up to your tv via bluetooth optical cable and usb what we want to do is unbox this stuff check it out see what is inside i hope this will help you to make informed choice this is 2.1 channel bluetooth sandbar immersive sound adaptive control audio so now let's check this out this is from lg So this is the power cable, three pin power cable. The battery is in here with information pack. Remote control, the small one. subwoofer nice this is the sandbar here it's, it's a bit heavy This is the subwoofer. Nice, it's not heavy just decent size okay this the power cable is attached with this yes the power cable is attached to it so the other power cable is for this subwoofer nice Look at that. You can see what it looks like. Got speaker here. Thread this end. And another thread this end. You switch this on and off here. This is function. This is minus and plus. Plus is for you to increase the volume. The minus is for you to decrease the volume. You press for F for the function. You spring out F and input is the same so you select input to select bluetooth optical and it will also show you that front here is wood at the back is plastic so you can see the ports optical port in optical and usb 
and the power cable is attached to it see what it looks like nice it's quite heavy but not that heavy you can still carry it anywhere but uh, some people might find it very heavy this is from LG this is a decent samba and uh, value for money on the budget So this what we have here this is the subwoofer and the soundbar you can see the speaker here and also got three speakers on this end optical usb and bluetooth lg tv so no hdmi and this is the information pack with the battery this is the power cable for the subwoofer and the remote control so these are the stuff included optical cable not included in the packaging so you need to buy the optical cable if you want to connect this soundbar to tv using optical cable but straight away you can connect it using via bluetooth i'm just gonna measure this I'm just gonna measure the subwoofer from this end to this end is 17.5 centimeter from the front to the back is 25 centimeter and this is 32 centimeter 32 centimeter the soundbar from this end to here is 95 centimeter 95 length the width is 7.5 centimeter 7.5 and this angle is four centimeter now to set this soundbar up just need to plug it to the power now take this cable plug it in push it in at the back connect it to the back this subwoofer you can also switch it on and off from here to reset it so plug it on to the power now take the remote control we have the battery here open up the remote now the negative goes to the bottom and the positive depending on how you, you are holding the remote so negative goes to the bottom on the right and the positive goes to the top then on the left side the positive goes to the bottom the negative goes to the top then put this back and this is in what I want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV via optical cable. Optical cable is not included in the packaging, but I'm going to use the one I got, okay, in my office here to do this demonstration. So you need to buy the optical cable. You can connect this to your TV using optical cable or via Bluetooth. So I'm going to use LG TV to do this demonstration. So first of all, you need to unplug the soundbar, unplug the subwoofer from the power. Then take the optical cable, go at the back of the soundbar where it's written "ports in optical." So push the cable inside it, and it's in. Now take the other end of the cable, go to your TV where it's written. 
optical digital audio out push it inside it so this is where it goes optical digital audio out push it inside now turn the TV now the next thing we need to do is we need to plug the sound bar back on and also plug the TV back on to the power so plug the TV to the power plug the sound subwoofer and also plug the sound bar to the power now the next thing you need to do is you need to switch the sound bar on and select use F to select optical now the sound bar is on so you need to keep an eye on the white light here so select F go to optical so make sure it's in optical now the next thing you need to do is you need to go to your TV settings you need to scroll down to the sound and you can see the sound is showing us TV speaker you need to select on it now scroll to the side to optical optical out device select on it and it's connected and when it's in optical you need to increase the volume using the sound bar remote Cook, brilliant, brilliant this is the show. audio. Brilliant TV presenter. The Saturday Kitchen is amazing. It's, it's that live TV and cooking and asking questions and talking like it's doing what you're doing, but actually cooking a long time and the same. And so that would be great, and that would be a magic recipe. Optical out device. Three Michelin stars. <laughs> Makes a great partnership. There is, there is no question on it. Uh, so this is the audio. No matter how difficult. Launch the very first Morning Live Make a Difference Community Award. Now, this is all about. Now I'm going to talk to you about this remote control. From this remote control, you switch the sound bar on here. This is the function, select function for you to select optical or USB or go to Bluetooth. AXC is adaptive sound control. You select this adaptive sound control, then the sound bar will check the environment where it's situated and dish out the correct sound that needed in the environment. And this button here is mute button. Plus and minus is plus is increase the volume. The minus is decrease the volume. This button here is standard audio. This button here is cinematic audio. This is pause and play. This button here is for you to go forward to the next music. The backwards is for you to go back to the previous music. This button here is night mode on and this button here is for you to switch the night mode off This center one plus is woofer level increase and woofer level decrease. So if you want to increase the Sound from the subwoofer then you need to select woofer level plus and this is auto power on and auto power off There's always been a glass and a heart in everyone. Thank you very much, guys. This is brilliant. Thank you. Investing shouldn't feel like...